mine. No way. New room, new seats. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Safe. You hooligan. If I had my way, you would too sort of sit down in that new classroom. Hey, carry these. Right. Never gonna stop barking about the school. Never thought I'd be so busy in the classroom. Yeah. Well, I almost got the best seat. He was here first. Don't think he could sleep. So, more the merrier, isn't it? You're sticking out for Kendall, you nerd. This is alive. It's like a hamster cage. Look who's here. Watch it, Danny. You turned up then. What's wrong? Probably fell asleep. Forgot to go home. Does it matter so long as you're here? I suppose not. Now all we've got to do is get the week's web back and we'll have a full house. We hit the jet didn't we? Got everyone in all right, Tim? Yeah. Who's this? Bonds is furious about telling them what to do. Yeah, but can we keep it up? I mean, it's all right being called the editors and what we say goes, but it's still making us change that article before we sell any more. Well, we've got to get tough or the campaign oh, won't work. Look, I've got a new anti-smoking poster. No but cigarettes kill. Let's put it up in here. Not on the nice clean walls. Hey, girls, are you a secret smoker or what? Of course not, but why put people's backs up? You'll spoil the wall. And anyway, more people are sitting in a corridor. Yeah, I've got some drawing pins if you want some. Thanks. Well, at least use blue tack. Come on, a couple of pins aren't going to hurt. If they go in. Oh, look, you chipped the wall. Now you're going to have to make it stay up or someone will see the holes. Give us the Go on, wreck the joint. We're only putting this up. How long have you been in this classroom? Ten minutes. And already it is spoiled. That's an exaggeration. You know, like that poster, no but cigarettes kill. Well, they do. And so do caretakers. Especially when they find yubbos like you abusing their new classrooms. Yeah, Mr. Griffiths, we'll be around to see you later about stopping. What on earth is going on here? I am being threatened. Get down. Come round to see me, indeed. First I find these two defacing the wall, and now I've been threatened. Oh, threatening to save his life by stopping him smoking. So, it has started already, has it? What? I warned Mrs. McCluskey that magazine was the thin end of the wedge. You two, see Mr. Baxter break, and no buts. Like the poster says. That is enough! Danny, you have been home, I hope. Of course. Good. Well, at least you managed to find some space amongst all the books. Morning, miss. Ah, Janet. Now, I want a serious word with you. Yes, miss, smoking. I want to sponsor you to stop. You know it makes sense. All right, Janet. You stop filling my art room full of books, and I'll stop smoking. Really, Mr. Baxter? And only help because I'd made such a mess of the wall. Oh, I thump in two more pins into it. No, I'm sorry, I don't see that. Go on. Don't let me see you in here again. No, Mr. Baxter. And you? I want you back here tomorrow break to see me and Mr. Bronson. I'm not happy with you, lad. Go on. Oh, and Anthony. You will be at practice tonight, won't you? Oh, so you've just given me detention. Exactly. You see how difficult you're making things. I'm sorry. It's my fault for going over the top about smoking. No, it's all right. It's Bronson. He has to look at me. More trouble. Oh, Faye. Faye, can I have a word? Yeah. What do you want? Well, it's personal. Look, if it's about Cheryl Webb, I don't know nothing new. No, it's about your smoking. I don't smoke. I saw you. I don't smoke. Well, then Mr King does. Mr King? Look, I think you better have a word with him about it. I never thought it would be that bad. People spying on people. Hey, what's this about Mr King? Nothing. Okay, we've got them red handed. All right, afraid. I don't understand it. You think we'd at least get Danny Kendall and his mom? Don't know why we go on smoking patrol if we ain't gonna catch no one.
give him up that quick. It's hard to stop smoking. Search me, but we always knew where I lost smoke, didn't we? Hey, most of all, found new place to swipe. All I'm saying is don't get carried away. And next time, check the copy before it's printed. Yes, Mrs. McCluskey. I thought you'd be pleased with the way the anti-smoking campaign was going. Between you and me, I'm absolutely delighted. But I can't let my older staff think I condone pupils snooping on teachers now, can I? You're supposed to show the children how to be more subtle. Hey, sir. I'll do, darling. Yeah. What's this? My entry for the logo competition. Great. See, Anthony. Entry's rolling in. Sir. Well done. You haven't seen it yet. No, I meant well done for doing an entry. Meaning it's not like me to bother. Yeah, top. George, I think he's out to get me. He imagines things. So what was your detention for? Sticking drawing pins in the new classroom wall. See? His staff keep rubbing him up the wrong way. Well, I thought you'd understand. Help me. How? If it goes on like this, I'm really going to be in trouble. I think I might even throw me out. I won't. Keep your arms folded or something. It doesn't miss about. Keep quiet, you've got to. Yeah, but I've got to go and see Baxter again tomorrow and Bronson's going to be there. Well, that's not fair. You've already done detention. Yeah, well, Baxter wasn't satisfied and because I've seen him so often, he says we've got to sort it out once and for all. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Well, this little session isn't getting us very far. My heart's not in it, Miss. No, Roland. But your feet are. Clear it up, will you? Honestly, N5, you're worse than the first years. And where's Samuel today? I thought he was going to be here. Got things on his mind, Miss. Oh, so he does have one. Now, listen. The whole point about the design for a book jacket is to reflect the theme of your chosen book. Now, Kevin, is your book about Arsenal? Oh, no, miss, but this is more interesting. The two are supposed to match up. She's in a bad mood. She's giving up smoking, is she? Here, yeah, miss, then why did I say never judge a book by its cover? Yes, Stephen, because too many people like Kevin here get into book design. I'm sorry, I haven't got time to talk about it now. Just get on with your work. Any more entries now for the logo competition are to go to Mr King. Roland, is that the best you can do? I prefer her the way she was. It's only temporary. A week or two. Once the craving for nicotine's gone, she'll be back to her usual self. Twice as fit. Miss. Danny, aren't you supposed to be in a class somewhere? You must put this in the competition. All entries are to go to Mr. King. Emma McCluskey? Who's he? Me. Don't tell no one. I ain't gonna get nowhere with Danny Kendall, am I? Oh, right. <laughs> Will you all please keep quiet and get on with your work? Hard, isn't it? What? Teaching? No. Nah, giving up smoking. Here. Some gum. Special. Helps. And this act of wanton vandalism is only the latest in a long line of misdemeanors. The boy is a persistent troublemaker. I had hoped this might have been more in the nature of a three-way discussion, Anthony. See, he has nothing to say for himself. He has to be told that he cannot go on like this. Anthony? A friend of mine told me to keep quiet, but after disappearing to the floor to keep the right side of him, she was wrong. I can't please him. She? If you remember, I caught him engaged in activities with a younger girl. You've got a disgusting mind. And he is violent. You're twisting things. You, twist yourself around and get out through that door. I shall want to see your parents if you don't change your attitude. And ain't going to make you I change I said it. shift. Totally out of control. And what about you, Morris? Are you in control of yourself? Now, that lad is a trier. He takes a healthy interest in school activities, school magazine. No, think about it. He's on the right side. If you go on hammering him the way you are, he'll end up on the wrong side. 
That'll be another one we've lost. If you are going to exaggerate, there is absolutely no more. Yes, I've got better things to do than patch up quarrels between staff and kids. Now you're old enough and experienced to know that you are over the top. I suggest you take a few deep breaths and think again. Thank you for coming in. Homework. Now, I know you've all nearly finished reading the story, hmm? or should have done, right? So, what I want you to do now is think about what happened. What happened in the most scary part of the book. Yeah, I get it. He wants a pricey too. I'm still reading that stupid love story from Mr. McCluskey. No, no, Luke Gardner. I want you to write me a story. Put yourselves in that room. The one in the book. The one where the walls and ceilings are gradually moving in. You're stuck. You're going to get squashed unless you escape. <laughs> no, you're failing. <laughs> Good. Now, Vince, I want to know how you feel when the walls are moving in. Stupid. <laughs> Come on. You're brimful of feelings about lots of things. Oh, go on, sir. You make me blush. <laughs> oh. That's it. Well done. You work very hard. Thanks. Hello, <laughs> We should look after our brains. Exercise them so as we get the best out of them. That's right. It's no good having a great brain if your body's not fit, is it? Mr. Baxter will be delighted to help you. Not us, say you. You don't need to worry about me, Veronica. But we do, sir. It's a smoking. It's got to stop. That's easier said than done. When we did those First World War poems, we spent ages saying what a waste it was. Young men dying of gas and bombs. You said the government's no wars kill, but they still keep on having them. It's the same with cigarettes. They kill you off. So you're not daft. I never knew you cared. Your lesson's the best thing going. If you die, well, we might get more of Mr. Bronson. So we're sponsoring you. Look, here's some special gum to help. And you have to join Mrs. Regan every lunchtime for jogging. Well, keep your mind off it. Oh, go on, sir. We know you can do it. Sorry. Oh, Danny Kendall. He needn't have bothered. Right, now we've got at least 40 entries. Can I suggest we choose a likely 10 to begin with? Aren't you supposed to be somewhere else, sir? Yeah, and Miss Bones. You're both supposed to be jogging with Mrs. Regan. Oh, well, I think as art teacher, I ought to oversee the final selection. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Bones, but we've decided that anyone who smokes is barred from the spec committee. But I've given up. Come on. Let's show, Willing. Thanks, Miss. Thanks, sir. Right, well, leave you to it then. Miss Partridge, you're sick. This luck can't last. Okay. Right. Now let's see what we think's right. It's got to be something eye socket. Yeah. Not rude, but punchy. This. Nah. What about this? Yeah, that's good. With a title on spec. Yeah. No, Mr. King or Miss Booth. Jogging, Miss. Being smokers. Or nearly ex-smokers. A pity. I hope they'd be here. Danny Kendall. Seems to have stopped in smoking. Can't have lessons, I miss. You will let me have the results before the end of break, won't you? I feel blackmailed. Oh, come on, Virginia. <laughs> Think how fit you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you show us what you can do? We hate to deprive you of the experience. Come on. Come on, we're all in this together. Come on. Come on. Don't choke on your gum. We went to the meeting. Now, why not the prize giving? I didn't enter the competition, so I don't care who wins, all right? Oh, you're right, please, you are. Did you agree? She didn't exactly have time not to. I only just ended the winner two minutes ago. She must know what we're up to. Just making a few decisions, that's all. 
I was joking. I'm sorry, I can't be in two places at once. No, of course not, but you do realize that none of us have seen this winning entry. Just keep your fingers crossed it's not a nude punk, or worse. Good afternoon, everybody. Could you close the door, please? Nice to see so many of you here. Well, I'm pleased to say that the standard of entry for the competition was very high, very high indeed. But as you all know, there can only be one winner. So here goes. Ooh, my hand's shaking. Stop smoking. <laughs> ah! It's entitled On Spec, and the words are built into a very complicated design. Can you all see? Ooh. Very professional. And the winning artist is Eamon McCluskey. Eamon McCluskey? Seems I have a namesake. How are you here, Eamon? I've never even heard of you. Do you know who it is? I believe it's a pseudonym for Danny Kendall. Oh. <laughs> Danny didn't want his chances prejudiced by his, well, his reputation. Come forward, Danny, so we can see you. Well, I don't know what you're all laughing at. He's done very well. Yes, he has. Come on, Danny. You didn't think we'd be influenced by anything but the work itself. Not all. Your design is excellent. Perhaps you could explain it to us. It's obvious. As well as reporting on the spec committee, the words on spec mean doing something risky. Because you know that maybe there's lots to be got out of it. But businessmen do things on spec. Gamble on businesses. It's clever. I never thought of that means. No. So, the title on spec means we're all going to give the magazine a try. Even though it's dead dodgy could all go wrong and become the usual boring rubbish. Useless. Well, you've obviously put a great deal of thought into it. Is the same true of your pseudonym, Eamon? Of course. Thought you'd be more likely to pick it, being the same as yours. <laughs> well, I always thought he was done. So so here you are, Danny. I'm pleased to give you your book token for ten pounds. Well, I'm sorry if it's not what you wanted. Why wouldn't I want it? I can read, can't I? That's not what I meant. Danny, come back here. Yes, all right, now that's it, everybody. Back to your classrooms. Quietly, Thank you very please. much, everybody. Where did we go wrong? Have you seen Danny Kendall? Danny. Don't trust the staff to keep their hands of their paper. And Danny don't trust us to keep it as either. So we just have to show him, won't we? I never thought I'd be trying to impress Danny Kendall. He's been a bit mean, haven't I? Don't run yourself down. We all thought he was thick, didn't we? Do you think he'd have won if we'd known who Eamon McCluskey was? Of course not. He's right. Hang on a minute, sir. Danny! She think I'm stupid or what? She thought you were disappointed. When she gave you the book token, you were supposed to smile and say thank you. You didn't. I'm not used to getting prizes, am I? Anyway, that chance that magazine saying anything. She'll make it all cosy and cleaned up. Like that should be. No. More people got to scribble on walls. Graffiti don't get edited and anyone gets to say. Look. Even if McCluskey don't get her hands on what we write, the committee will. There. There's a good sign. Or there. A wall where anyone can write whatever they feel about anything or anybody. It's a nice idea, Danny. It would only get out of hand. People would start writing obscenities all over it. Who'd need swear words when there's so much else to say? Funny, miss. Never thought you were scared like the rest of them. I should have realised he doesn't have many social graces. <laughs> He's unpredictable, that's a fact. Still, the magazine was meant to be a turning point. Oh, it has been. There's worms turning as far as the eye can see. Hmm. Listen, I've, uh, I've had to have a word with Maurice Bronson about Anthony Jones. I mean, I've looked into this business and I don't think the boy's as bad as he makes out. I mean, I'd be inclined to leave it a little while before we asked to see his parents. Who's? Bronson's. <laughs> 
thought it'd get him a good hiding, yes. <laughs> the way we see it, sir, you ain't got no choice. I do not take orders from other ranks. OK, then we'll just sit here. Gum? Mm, horrible stuff. Makes giving up easier. Yeah, I suppose we're going to have that mutt stuck about all over the place. We could come to some arrangement. You don't smoke. We won't stick gum in awkward places. Now, lads, this is the last place that I'm allowed to smoke. My good lady won't let me have my pipe indoors. Now, see reason, hmm? Sorry, sir. Get out of it! <laughs> 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 I thought there might be something we could do. Can't your dad get your mum to come help? Just while he's ill. My dad's dead. When? Face said he had cancer. Can't you if he smokes? You don't stop, do you, Laura? Julia? Julia, I didn't mean that. Jones! Our interview with Mr. Baxter. I omitted to mention the smoking. I don't smoke. I saw you. Sir, I don't smoke. Do not move when I am speaking to you. I'm due at practice, sir. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, Jones. Tonight we will have 500 lines. I must not smoke. What a stupid waste of time. I do hope not. The sooner you change, the sooner we will get back to normal. <laughs> 